Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be throwing some bearings in these cases here. You can see the flywheel case, super clean and ready for bearings. The bearings are in the freezer right now, just waiting to be thrown in. So we got the other case ready too. We just got to heat these things up. I'm going to try and heat them up to at least 150 degrees, but as hot as you can really get them. And it's hard to tell with one of these infrared thermometers because this is somewhat reflective so it doesn't get a perfectly accurate reading but you want to make sure to really get the main bearings area super hot and hopefully they should slide in so we're pretty much ready here do some heating and then throw some bearings in all right guys so we got some map gas torches here and we're just going to heat up these cases really well working from the bottom and the top Get them as hot as you can. And then we're gonna put it on this block of wood and throw the bearings in. Go quick. All right, guys, there's the first main bearing. It's all the way in. Now the clutch shaft. There. That one wasn't hot enough. All right, now that we got these bearings in, we gotta install some of these keepers here. So I'm gonna start with the main bearing. So these keepers are, they have the spot for the peen. The rest of them don't. So they go in like so and these bolts don't get locked tight and we got new ones because the old ones were drilled out so let's go in like so and now we got one more torx keeper which is going to go right here for the counter shaft and we're going to put red loctite on these looks like it was orange from Yamaha, so red should do it. Not sure how strong the orange stuff is, but it seemed pretty good. Probably stronger than blue. And they're still Loctite in this hole. And the torque wrench is set for seven and a half foot pounds. It says 7.2, but, and that one's torqued. Now for the clutch shaft, we got this wider keeper. And these are just normal eight mils. Some of them Loctite was cleaned out better than others. Now for the shift drum, we have some more of these small keepers with the eight mil. And the more rounded side goes up. And the same keepers for the counterbalance shaft and same torque for all of these 
7.2 foot pounds, which isn't very much. The Loctite finishes them off, makes them impossible to take out. And for this one, I'm going to recheck since they're on the same piece. And now for the main Torx, the same 7.2 without Loctite. And now we got to peen those down. Okay, so you can see, you kind of just want to roll over the edge of the bolt into that hole so it shouldn't be able to back its way out with vibration. So that should be good. Now once the Loctite dries, these should all be in nice and tight. Now we just got to do the other side and then some seals. All right guys, for this side, it is Torx bits all the way. So I'll do our two main bearing keepers first without Loctite. And for the one that we stripped out when we were taking it out, we got a new bolt and we'll put that in the same spot just so if we ever are in here again, it's nice and new and should have higher chances of not stripping out. And one last one for the counterbalance bearing. And now I'll torque them all down just the same as the other side. One, two, check the main bearing ones again because they seem to be a little bit more critical. All right, we got all the keepers torqued. Now we gotta throw some seals into the other side. So we've got the counter shaft seal, the clutch shaft seal up here for the clutch lifter and we got one for the shift shaft. So we'll do those next. All right, guys, we're gonna throw in some of these seals for the flywheel case. I'm gonna throw a little bit of grease in the lip. We can put more later. This stuff doesn't wanna stick. Usually I have to heat it up. And I'll put a little bit around that outside rim where it's gonna go. And spring side in and try and keep them even. Usually you can just push these in by hand. Shaft seal, same thing, I'll put a little bit of grease on it. And I'll put a bunch on the shaft before it goes in later. Try and get it in pretty flush, like so. And now one more for this case is the upper clutch, which goes right here. Small little seal, and there we go. Well guys, that's about it for this video. Got a bunch of stuff done today. We got these, all these bearings in and the keepers and everything. And these cases are dialed and ready to go back together. So got a couple more things to do. Got to finish working on the crank and piston and the transmission video, which will probably come out after this one. But anyway, it's coming together now and we should get this stuff back together soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and came along for the ride on this one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.